My name is Kamala Sams and I'm studying in Kamala Shirin Monastery. In this video, uh, I would like to share a teacher and student relationship between uh, me and His Holiness Kao Kamapa uh, as a short history. When I first come to Kamala Shirin Monastery at the age of 10, I know very little about Dharma. And I also didn't speak Tibetan uh, in Nepali. As I saw other fellow young monks doing puja and standing, I longed to become the same as them. And when I first heard the song praise to come up during morning morning assembly uh, at our Kamala lecturing school, uh, I thought it was just divine song. And I could not help but wanted to sing it again and again because. There, there was tremendous joy arising from the bottom of my heart and although I didn't know the meaning of the song but I was like, I want to sing this song and then some senior moms taught me the meaning of the song word by word and I could not memorize much of the word but there was one word that I immediately stopped in Karma Pa and thereafter whenever we sang this song and I will shout the word Karma pa, karma pa, ke karma pa. And noticing this, uh, some friend told me about Karma Pa that he is an enlightened being. Karma Pa is a Buddha, and according to some young friends, he can even fly. And he can possess some miraculous, supernatural powers, not fireballs. <laughs> and that makes me wonder what kind of person he really is. And from then on, the wish to meet Karmapa in person took a seat in my heart. And in our monastery, there are Lobda School and Shedda College. That only, uh, that only reaching grade six, uh, we start learning debate and uh, have the opportunity to join Kuncho in Podakaya and sing Karmapa in person. And during my study in the school before grade six, and I was encountering many difficulties living among life, sometimes even a thinking, quitting, but strong willing to visit Bodhagaya and sing Karmapa in person kept me carry on my mom's life. And it, that strong intuition also helped me in improving my Tibetan language. And not after long, I was able to read Tibetan books. And during Puja, I started to understand the meaning of the phrase, and especially uh, praise bear to karma pa um, during morning assembly, you know. And the finally, upon reaching grade six, uh, I know that the big moment had come, and I studied to be with great diligence in the hope that our class will catch the opportunity to join this Kunjo as well as Kayu Molums, uh, which was considered the most exciting moment in our monk's life, since. That was also an opportunity to uh, know the world outside monastery and meet a lot of people. And in the year 2013, I was in Bodhagaya with my classmate as well as our shared senior monks. In the first few days of Kuncho, uh, the news came around uh, that my hero, His Holiness Kawakamupa, will be arriving in Taiga Monastery that will make a line and hold Kadash to welcome. Finally that day comes and I rush to Tega Monastery to escort into the welcoming crowd. But that time I was very young and very small. So my side was blocked by the senior and taller the fat monks, you know, in the front. Uh, just because they just blocked my side, I could not see uh, his Holiness Karma Pa walking first. Nevertheless, uh, there was a tremendous choice uh, arising, you know, from the bottom of my heart. Although I was a uh, little bit angry with those taller and uh, senior, you know, fat who blocked my side. And during Kuncho debate, each monastery will get to play a debate in front of Karmapa and during that times I was so focused 
on my hero is on this yellow camera. That I will not even miss one facial expression of him and kept wondering when he will fly. And I was like, when he will throw out fireballs. As I had long imagined about his supernatural falls, but I saw none of them. And later I even checked whether my hero is one in his Kalokama for will eat food or not. And it turned out uh, he drank tea just as all of us did. And during Guncho's debate, uh, I watched very carefully about, uh, to my hero uh, when he was walking around in sittings, but I got scared when I looked up face to face in him, which would make my heart beat speed up, as if under a bright light, which makes hiding impossible. And after finish Kuncho, Kagum Malam started, which time, which time, you know, all of us get extremely busy. And morning session, we had the opportunity to hear teaching from his own in Skalokarmapa. And unfortunately, I was sitting very far away from him. And also, I was having very difficulty understanding what he said. Because it was my first time attending such um, teaching, you know. But I was very grateful that I could meet with him and you know, meet with a lot of people. And at the end of Marme Molams, and I was having mixed feelings. Because just because of that was my first uh, attending uh, Marme Molam, so I was having mixed feelings of both happiness and sadness. Because after I finished that, I will leave for Nepal and miss my hero, his goodness, Kalokamapa. And I was like, oh, never in this world. And, uh, and in the year 2015, I entered Shedda and learned classical Buddhist texts in which I got to know uh, what Buddha and Bodhisattva really are. They are the beings who work for the sake of all selling things. My hero is only this Kalokamapa, being a Buddha, manifest as the same human body as us, we need to eat, we need to sleep. But while at the same time he, he is different because his mind is enlightened. 24 hours, 7 days a week, focusing on the benefit of all beings. And I have realized that my previous understanding about Buddha uh, is wrong. Mm, and during that Guncho, when learning that my hero works harder than anyone with great compassion and during Kagi uh, knowing that uh, he slept, you know, uh, two hours every day, made my uh, aspiration and devotions even stronger, like more and more, you know, it increased a lot. And these past two years, Kalimulam and Guncho were held without my hero presence in person, but I never felt any separation from him. As if he is always present, like he was always with me. And um, this year, Guzin 19, I was feeling very upset that I was not really able to uh, practice the Buddhist, you know, uh, practice um, Buddhist text, you know, which I learned. But later I found that, you know, the um, book called Our Heart is Noble, uh, written by my hero, Isunis Kalokamapa, about how to apply Buddhism in our daily life, both monastic and lay practitioners. So reading these books, it greatly relieves my worries. And I was gradually able to make uh, Buddhist teaching into part of, my, part of my own living experience. And that's why I'm still carrying on my mom's life until now. And it's all due to my hero, Zunis Kalokamapa. And now looking back, all of the little pieces of memory in which I gradually uh, got to know more and learn each life lesson from my hero, 
were the best moment of my life. And for, I think, you know, I think due to each person's karma, when we heard the uh, name of our spiritual master for the first time, it will naturally uh, arise tremendous joy in our heart. And that was the case with me and my hero, his one is Kao Kamapa. And all those subsequent encounters with him and my inner question made great changes in my life. And in the future, whether I'll be able to continue uh, my mom's life or not, but I will always follow the teaching of my hero, his one is Kao Kamapa. And so this, so this is my story, and you know, at the end, uh, I would like to say that uh, I miss him a lot. And every uh, since we, since I started to live, uh, live my life as a monk, and hearing that, hearing the name of uh, Karma Paul, and that silly question is, you know, does he eat food? If he's a Buddha, then. He need to fly. That every questions, and after uh, realizing that, so if he's a if he's a Buddha, then he doesn't need to fly. That every question and answer made great change, great change in my life, and I vow that not to get angry, and to be a good person, and to teach.